Infinity Files on this Wednesday morning. Making money off a tragedy is nothing new in America. There's even a name for it. It's called Disaster Capitalism. And a video game called Active Shooter that was just pulled off the market let you be a school shooter, racking up points, killing students, teachers, and police. And one company has made a lot of money off things just like this. That company is called Revived Games. And the game was set to go on sale on Steam for 99 cents next week. That game basically glamorizing an issue that's affecting schools across the country right now. The game's description, by the way, online, search and destroy. So I want to tell you a little bit more about Revived Games. It's a really odd company. Here's what the game looked like on the website Steam there. Active shooter. It's run by this guy right there, Ativ Berdiov. And they basically churn out low quality games every time something tragic happens or there's a new trend. And this guy's made a lot of money doing it. Check this one out. The Tide Pod Challenge video game was downloaded thousands of times over the winter. White Power. Odd name, but that one also made a lot of money for him. Dab, Dance, and Twerk. I was checking this one out yesterday, but I was careful not to download it at work. There's a big warning right on the game before you download it. Uh, this is not the first time we've seen something like this. Uh, Super Columbine Massacre came out in 2005 and tried to capitalize on the uh, Columbine shooting. So why does this matter? Well, according to the American Academy of Pediatrics, 90% of kids ages 12 to 17 play video games, and there is some proof that it does have an effect. July 2016, nine people were shot and killed in Germany. The shooter there said that he was inspired by video games. So what happened to that active shooter video game? Well, as of yesterday when I went to bed, the game was going to be coming out next Wednesday, but a change.org petition that was signed by more than 180,000 people and counting changed all that, and it pressured that company to finally pull it from the market. So that game will not be coming out.